Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I have a new exciting product with me. Tempera paint stick from Shutterstock. I saw this on Instagram uh, and uh, someone was playing on a, a notebook uh, over acrylic paints or something and I got really excited. They looked so much fun uh, and uh, Shutterstock kindly offered to send this to me for me to try out. So that's what I'm going to do today with you. Uh, this has 32 colors and available in Europe and uh, US. So I'm going to link down below uh, the uh, the products that you can find easily it has beautiful colors 32 uh, colors and uh, some of them are classic so normal some of them are uh, metallic uh, and some of them are neon colors I know they look like uh, candy from here uh, it's, uh, it's very exciting to open a new set of paints and play with them I'm going to do a, a quick swatch for you for you to see the colors uh, completely I won't bore you with it but I'll do it myself and come back uh, very quickly magic here so I did my uh, swatch so very nice colors and I'll quickly show you ex actually uh, the white is amazing it has amazing coverage and when you mix it with uh, other colors you kind of can mix the colors and uh, play with water it's um, it's uh, soluble with water and I'm going to also show you here on paper how uh, you can mix them uh, and actually I love these four colors uh, together so uh, spontaneously I decided to play with these four and create a background with them uh, but the colors are amazing so uh, I'm going to create this background with these uh, colors uh, some bright neon yellow uh, some nice orange pink um, while I play with them, uh, when I posted uh, this picture on Instagram, I got the qu million questions uh, immediately. Are they similar to gelatos? Can you compare them? They are not similar to gelatos, so I don't want to compare them here. They are different products. Gelatos are uh, smudgeable, uh, uh, different type of crayons. These are paint sticks, so they are permanent. Uh, and uh, you just uh, need to appreciate them for what they are uh, and uh, I'm going to just play with them like a kid literally um, uh, you shouldn't use them over gesso that's what I can say for sure because uh, you can smudge them off Pem tempera stick means uh, you can take them off with water so uh, they, you can uh, move them around a little bit with water as you see here they are not like water soluble crayons that they will move a lot uh, all around it's not like watercolors um, they are uh, literally uh, imagine uh, they are crayons that are permanent like they are not moving uh, they are smudgeable to a degree you will see now uh, in a minute when I uh, when I smudge them a little bit uh, but as I said I think they are uh, to use uh, in a different way uh, and this is how I use them when I first got them and uh, I'll keep playing with them in the future so as you see I am playing with a few colors and just uh, literally uh, painting my uh, pages um, I thought I would do a couple of uh, art journal pages which are very simple just playing with the background with these uh, paint sticks um, and uh, I'm going to use my stencils to bring this uh, background together and I will use two different color screens as you see I'm using orange and purple together and they are not uh, making mud which is a great feature because they are not mixing together uh, I'm just layering them one after another and uh, there's no danger of that. I know my background looks like a kid uh, did it uh, but hey <laughs> you gotta play sometimes and I'm not scared of playing with uh, color as you know I think by now and uh, don't worry I'm gonna bring it together and uh, I'm going around the edges with uh, the white stick which is by far my favorite it has amazing coverage you see here it covers all the paint that I did uh, in the middle uh, and uh, I think uh, by by the time I was finished uh, playing I, I used quite a bit of it 
this is my stencil from Faber Castell from like years ago uh, they were a thing by then I don't know if they have uh, these paper stencils now but I'm using them uh, with my white paint stick I'm just painting a little bit inside the uh, stencil and uh, smudging with my finger uh, this some colors are more smudgeable than the others but it's quite okay you can smudge them this much uh, I'm just moving the uh, paint around and uh, uh, creating this nice texture I'm just moving from outside to inside because uh, the outside uh, uh, border is white so I'm just pulling that paint inside uh, as you see in the end all this mess uh, will uh, nicely come together to create a really vibrant background and there are two ways of creating a contrast when you have these vibrant colors you can use white black or a dark, another dark color so I reached out for a nice uh, brown like reddish brown and uh, I brought another stencil in place uh, to play with this uh, brown color Again, I'm just uh, using my stick and then smudging it uh, with my fingers. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I am having a great fun uh, playing with the paint uh, with my fingers. It's a solid paint, of course. It's not a um, it's not a liquid paint. I'm uh, mixing a couple of colors uh, uh, every now and then too to make some interest. I love the uh, honeycomb uh, design uh, for everything these days uh, I'm just uh, loving the honeycombs uh, and uh, I threw a little bit pink out there as well I'm gonna keep the page really simple my objective was to play with these paints and um, now that I uh, I played with them I am totally satisfied so I'm not going to do a lot on top um, for beginners I think it's a great way of creating uh, art journals or you just want to play like me uh, I am just reaching out for my butterfly uh, stickers that I bought uh, new uh, it's a great opportunity to use them and I'm just going for the same color scheme and uh, sticking out there a few butterflies and a sentiment and that's it we don't need to do layers and layers and many things each time we are journal it can be as simple as uh, this is uh, so I'm just uh, reaching out for a sentiment this is a, a this is a paper that my friend uh, sent me uh, so I just uh, want to use it I love the sentiments uh, on it uh, I'll just uh, cut it and uh, stick it on my page it says embrace the imperfections which really goes with uh, what I did here full of imperfections but I think it looks quite cool I'm just going around the sentiment with my black pencil stabilo all uh, to make it more prominent and visible and I'm doing some white splashes that will complete this journal page here's how it looks I really love it very vibrant and fun uh, let's do another page while I'm at it I'm going to select another color scheme blues and greens and uh, <laughs> start my playing uh, again uh, let's do some shapes uh, <laughs> Uh, as you see I'm really having fun here it can be a great activity with kids too uh, you know uh, crafting together or journaling together uh, I'm sure they will enjoy it uh, um, the colors are really great uh, and uh, my page uh, I'm sure you're uh, saying where you are or oh, yours doesn't look like any different than a kid uh, did it so yes I agree uh, but uh, what is important is the journey you're on when you're creating and uh, I'm really enjoying myself today so I'm going to make a darker border the dark blue and I'm reaching out again to my uh, stencils and uh, going over the uh, pages in the end you will see uh, it will look like an adult art journal uh, page for sure um, 
I'm just uh, taking different uh, shapes of stencils using the same uh, paints that I used for the background. Uh, just uh, oh, I'm going over the stencil uh, to smudge with my finger. Uh, this is a paper stencil, so to be honest, it made things uh, easier for me. Uh, I didn't need to clean it back, uh, and uh, probably you don't need to clean it back even if it's a normal stencil because. Um, it's not like the modeling paste that will you ruin your uh, stencils. I think it will just dry there and stay um, without any harm. And I'm using this uh, white to kind of uh, create a bright area in the middle. Uh, I'm, I'm, I still can't believe this white covers everything. Uh, it's just amazing. And if you go over uh, the other paints, it kind of creates a texture too. Um, because it's a hard paint, it's not so soft. So uh, it just uh, sticks itself to the top layer, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, anyway, I just uh, created a bright area in the middle. I'm reaching out for my other butterflies that matches these uh, colors too. Uh, so I'm just going to stick a few butterflies on this page as well. Again, I'm going for a sentiment uh, from the same uh, paper uh, that I have. It goes with the butterfly concept. Your wings already exist, you just have to fly. And uh, I'm just playing with the butterflies. I know they are not sticking out uh, super well and... Uh, it's not so perfect, but I just love it as it is. Uh, it was so uh, fun, quick and easy. And I don't want to uh, play with it. Uh, like uh, I don't want to go into details for this page. I'm just doing my white splashes uh, to bring everything together and leave it here. Uh, I think the hero here is the background with all these uh, beautiful paint sticks. And uh, this one as well, you can uh, see the more close-up pictures. I had so much fun playing with these uh, paint sticks and I'll be playing more, I'm sure. Again, if you're interested, I'm leaving the uh, links down below to find these uh, paints. Uh, they are super affordable as well, uh, so check them out. Hope you had fun, I'll be seeing you with another video soon. Uh, take care and see you next time.